Hey guys, so I want to do a quick video showing you how to get um, videos, or I'm sorry, how to get uh, your logs from uh, WSJTX uh, um, into HRD. Now, I have a problem with Ham Radio Deluxe logbook with uh, integrating with JT Alerts. Um, Whenever I open HRD up um, for the first time, say I quit it, go out to dinner and come back um, and open up uh, Ham Radio Deluxe and Logbook and then uh, um, WSJTX and um, uh, JT Alerts, um, for some reason it will not log the initial cue so it won't synchronize with um, HRD with Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook. Um, once I've uh, made the first cue so then it works fine uh, thereafter but for some reason it's only the initial cue so uh, after a cold uh, restart if you will of um, HRD, JT Alerts, and WSJTX. So I kind of found a workaround. It's it's annoying, and I hope HRD fix the, fixes this in the future. Uh, I'm running 6.4.780 of, of HRD, just uh, FYI. Anyway, so what you're going to need uh, to do is you're going to need to download this program right here, JT65 Log View. I will uh, put a link in the description uh, where you can download this. So you're going to need to download this. It's just an .exe file. Uh, download this, and uh, what you're going to need to do is, um, uh, but before you open that, what you'll want to do is, say you have, um, um, I'm running JT65 right now here. Um, actually, I'm running uh, FT8. Uh, that's the mode I'm doing. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to locate your log directory. Because even though it fails to, uh, my initial QSO, even though it fails to get into HRD's logbook, uh, it's stored in um, uh, WSJTX's uh, uh, logbook. So I'm going to open the log directory. And um, uh, there's, uh, this is the folder um, where it's stored in. So you'll have to find where it is. Uh, this is the file, though, that you'll need right here. Uh, so you'll need this and um, yeah so you will need this uh, you'll need to copy uh, this uh, directory so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna right click on this and go to properties and I'm just gonna copy the location here and pardon the uh, sudden zooming and everything so I'm just gonna copy this and then I'll close out of this and I can get out of, um, well, I should have stayed in there. Oh, well. Um, but now that I have that copied, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open uh, that program again. So to do that, I'll just uh, come over here. Oh, I just minimized it. Perfect. Um, so we're going to open up this. And here we are. We're going to um, click Browse here. And... Um, Oh, never mind. It actually uh, remembered uh, where my location was. Uh, but initially, when you set up this program for the first time, you'll need to copy that um, file. Uh, so what you'll want to do is then open it up. And we'll open it. And there it is. There's my one uh, contact there that I made um, just a, a short time ago. Uh, then you're going to want to go to Setup. And this is what you need to check. This is very important. Uh, you want to make a dot copy on exit. You can save it wherever you want to. I just save it to the desktop. Uh, and that's because programs, uh, as you can read right here, um, they don't accept a comma in the frequency when importing an ADIF file, and that's how WSJTX um, exports its log files, apparently. Um, so for those of you that are wondering, well, why can't you just open that ADIF file um, inside HRD, uh, from that folder that I showed you, and the answer is this, um, apparently, because um, it doesn't accept uh, um, a comma uh, in the frequency. It only accepts a decimal point, a period. So uh, 
you'll need to uh, make a copy of this. Uh, don't worry about checking any of these. Um, and you can set your destination wherever you want. Again, I have it on the desktop just because that's it's easy access for me. So I'm going to hit save and close. And I'm going to hit exit. Um, and that will create the thing, a version of your log file, where comments to replace the dots has been generated um, there. So we'll hit OK. And as you can see, there it is right there on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of uh, JT65 now. Actually, what I'm going to do now that I have that file, um, this is another important thing you want to do. Uh, once you have this done, uh, you want to erase the uh, log file. So just go to uh, in the WSJTX uh, software, go to File, go to Erase, uh, the WSJTX uh, log ADI file. Um, are you sure? Yes. There. Now I'm ready to go and I have a uh, clean slate um, for when uh, this happens again. Uh, because if you let this pile up, you're going to have a lot of cleanup to do when you import into uh, HRD. So that's just a um, kind of a pro tip, if you will. But anyway, I'll go ahead and close out of this now. And I've got this, uh, this is JT Alerts. I've got it set up where I close this. It closes everything. So, um, uh, that's that. We will go to, uh, uh, we'll open up HRD. Actually, I need to open the logbook here. We'll go ahead and open the logbook, and um, we will import that file. So we'll go to uh, logbook, file, import, uh, the ADI file. Um, now we need to find it. In this case, for me, it's on the desktop. And as you can see, there it is right there. I'll go ahead and open that. And um, I know I haven't worked this person before in this mode, so I can ignore that. Um, you can check these. It's up to you. Um, and then uh, you just save it to the database. That's it. Done. Imported one entry. We'll hit OK. And we will finish. And as you can see, there it is. And it even put in the mode and the decibel uh, uh, signal report and all that good stuff. So there it is, guys. Um, so that is how, if uh, you are not either um, using JT Alerts to get um, your logs into HRD logbook, or if you're like me and you have that problem where you get that error message for your initial QSO, um, but then all subsequent QSOs after that in the same session go to HRD logbook just fine. Um, there's a nice little workaround for you. It is a little tedious, and again, I really hope Ham Radio Deluxe um, gets um, gets on that and fixes it. Apparently, it's been an issue for a long time, so uh, we uh, I hope they uh, get it fixed. Anyway, that's all I've got, guys. A nice short little video on that, and um, uh, everyone out there with uh, Hurricane Irma, be safe, and we will uh, catch you guys later. Take care. 73s, thanks for watching.